Hello everybody, so today I want to quickly look at how to create attributes using the attribute create node. Now we looked in previous lessons a little bit about what attributes actually are and there are some various ways that you can create attributes um, but I'm going to just show you probably what the most basic one is and so let's start off by first of all creating a grid so we've got some geometry to actually work with okay I'm going to turn this off there and here I want to now create what's called the attribute create node let's do that okay beautiful and now I've got some information here that helps me to create a new attribute now all attributes have a, a name they must have a name uh, some of them are in this are like system attributes such as the color or the normal or the velocity um, But some of them you can just create your own and give them their own custom reasons to be in the system to be alive, right? And um, So let's go with something basic first of all. Let's create a color if you've looked in previous let lessons You might remember that the name for the color attribute is capital C D. So let's do that All right, all already it's turned black uh, I'm gonna change this to color. Let's maybe make it blue. So uh, There we go. Why didn't that change? Hmm, let's have a think about that a moment. Well, I've just got CD here and I've got all of these zeros But the one isn't affecting it only the first one will affect it and that's because CD or color should be a vector. It shouldn't be a float. It's not a single value. It has RGB It's got three values, so it needs to be a vector. So let's make this type and, and Let's go to vector there we go now we're getting the expected result i've got full blue and i've got what, a fifth of the red mixed in there okay the class is saying point i can also have my class as primitive so now i'm moving my cd over to the primitive in my geometry spreadsheet go back to point that will also do it again super uh, remember I can also specify which point it's going to be or what group of points so let's first of all create some numbers and I'm gonna make these numbers bigger like we did last time so I'm gonna go to large should we do yeah okay and let's say we'll have point I can see here point 35 so let's just put 35 in there Ah, maybe that wasn't what did I put there 35 and it's given me Aha, Something's not correct there. I guess from group. Let's go to points. There we go now I've got the right one. I did the same mistake last time remember and it's selected a primitive by default I think and not the point so now I've got that point that I've selected the 35 I'm, I'm just gonna collect it with the whole Thing. I, I, I don't want to specify certain points, but that's how, obviously how you would do it Now let's maybe turn that off and I'm going to turn on the normals Okay, so I can see these normals. I might change the color to maybe let's have green color instead all right and the normals are basically what way direction the point or the face or wherever it is is facing right is is pointing and it makes a big difference when you, you look at shading and how things are presented with shaders uh, and various other reasons with normals why they're important uh, but here I can see that I've got these four little kind of normals sticking up all pointing into the sky uh, and so I'm guessing there it's actually using the normals from the vertices it's not using the points so I want to fix that I'm going to go and add there we go another attribute I'm going to use n which is for normal okay now everything's gone black again super uh, but I need to change my value to one still nothing why not oh yes it's the type again 
normal is also a vector so let's change that to vector my color comes back and now I can see I have this single normal pointing up at the sky cool so that's basically how you create uh, any attributes that you want using the attribute create node in the next lesson I want to quickly look at how you would do the same thing but using vex any questions comments criticisms please leave them below I'll get back to you and you guys have a great day